I welcome you again. If I have to jog your memory, I discovered something on the imposter syndrome. Imposter syndrome is where an individual, no matter how successful you are, no matter how achievements you have done, what achievements you have, you have, you, have, you don't, you are not confident of yourself, you are not sure. You feel there might have been something mysterious. You are, you feel as if you are fraud. You feel that whatever you are or where you are, you don't deserve it. Something might have happened. It's not that you have the capacity. It's not that you have the skills. And so all the time, you don't have confidence. In part one, we discuss what is this imposter syndrome. In part two, we also discuss the symptoms, which you can go back to my video, to my YouTube, a moment with Rukwaru, and you can see those videos. If you have not subscribed, you can do it so that you access part one and part two of the imposter syndrome. So today, I'm going to discuss on the effects of the imposter syndrome, which is going to be part three. What is the effects of somebody not sure no matter how successful you are? As I've been pointed, greater people, great scientists like Einstein, who is well known as in the law of relativity, he was also suffering from this, this imposter syndrome. Now, one of the effects of the imposter syndrome is lower job satisfaction. You are not going to be sure, although you are working, you don't really feel satisfied because you are not even sure of yourself. So there's going to be lower job satisfaction. And the time gap with the lower job satisfaction is lower performance in either place of work or even in the university or other places where you are working. You will not be very sure performance will not be high because of this complex of feeling you are, don't have the skills, feeling you are not sure of yourself. Now, the other, as the other effect is stress and depression. Stress and depression is going to be as a result of this, in this imposter syndrome. But the tied up with this one, you are going to have burnout and you are going to be sick you are going to be fatigued and its life is going to have no meaning. And then another problem is that with the imposter syndrome, they always feel that they are frowned. They are not sure. They are not genuine. Wherever they are, it's not that they have the capacity. So they are fearing. Fear of being a fraud is, may, is going to make them always worried if they are going to be discovered. Now, at the place of work, because they don't have confidence, they cannot lie ask even to appearance. They are having a life of fear, even fearing their bosses, in spite of having the capacity. Then at home, the parents having realized about the imposter syndrome in their children, they feel that they have to micromanage their children. They have to make decisions for them. And on the process, they create a dependency syndrome where the children become helpless and they can, even when they move out of home, they become helpless and oppressed. Then when they come to school, the students cannot be able to ask questions because they don't want to be taken by their fellow students or fellow teachers as they are coolers or if they are foolish. And finally, when it comes to relationships, boy, girl, lady, man relationship, it is likely to continue. They will live a very mysterious life. They will, be, they will not be sure of themselves because they are fearing their partners are going to discover that they are just in front. I hope you have enjoyed the effects of the imposter syndrome and you can add more as you take a walk down the memory lane. If you're having a problem of the imposter syndrome, I hope this is going to assist you. Thank you very much.